This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, this is Venkat. Today I'm going to explain some of the Informatica interview questions and answers. What is the use of uh, update strategy transformation? Update strategy transformation is mainly used to flag the records for insert or update or delete. So you are sending those to the update strategy transformation to decide that row should be inserted into your target table or that row should be updated into your target table or that row should be deleted into your target table. Whenever you want to perform these operations, insert, update, delete, you can use update strategy transformation. For insert, you need not use update strategy transformation. By default, the row type is insert. For insert operation, you can ignore update strategy transformation. If you want to specify explicit, you can use update strategy transformation. What are uh, different types of constants in update strategy transformation? We have different constants available. So character constants, if you take dd underscore insert, dd underscore update, dd underscore delete, dd underscore present. These are all character constants. So correspondingly, you can give numeric constants as well. Zero. One. Dd delete means two. Dd reject means three. If you want to flag a particular row to update, you can use either dd update or one. You can see in the update strategy transformation. So double click go to property step so here you can see update strategy expression so if you give one validate will work or you can also do dd underscore update so either you can do character constants or numeric constants How many ways you can update data in a table? So this is interesting question. In interviews also, many people ask. There are different ways. There are uh, mainly I can say three ways. Using update strategy. Second, use target override. Or use session level. So you can directly use update strategy machine. You can update the rows, or you can use target override. You can see the target override in the mapping target level. So you can click on your target and go to properties tab. You can see here update override. Generally, we go for update override if there is no key column depend on the target definition. And then you can apply where class. This is one way you can update. There is another option in the session level. So for that one, what you need to do is in the properties tab, by default read so so as insert, you change it here to update. And then the mapping level you select your target and select only here option update option. Update as update option. The main things you can visit. So in these three ways, you can update your target table. How do you write uh, expressions in update strategy? Suppose you want to perform uh, conditional flagging that means some rows you want to send to insert and some rows you want to send to update so in the update strategy we have a flexibility you can write that I will show you so here go to property step so here you can write IIF 
employee number greater than 100 then you want to insert 0 else 1 so in this way you can perform conditional updates in place of 0 1 you can write dd insert to the update as well so you are going to decide which row go for insert which row go for update based on some condition next is normalized transformation active or passive normalized transformation is an active transformation so the number of input rows to that transformation will change output of that so when we use normalized transformation to convert columns to rows in a particular row you have multiple columns you want to convert to multiple rows example if you take uh, business is one column and you have quarter one amount quarter two amount and quarter three amount say your input is your business is sales your earning is 100 200 and 300 so you want to convert a row containing multiple columns to multiple rows you want to convert like this sales 100 dollars quarter one sales Two hundred dollars quarter two sales three hundred dollars quarter two. Whenever you want to convert a particular row containing multiple columns to multiple rows, then you can use normalizer transformation. So, what is the GCID and the GKID in normalizer transformations, and also what is occurs class? So, I will show you all those things. See here, same one. You can see GK amount, GCID amount. GK means generated key value. GCID means generated character ID. So here, business one column, amount one, amount two, amount three, amount four. Take four quarters amounts. So if you see here, go to properties tab or normalizer tab, you see here, one important thing is occurs class. What, is, what it represents? In a row, how many columns you want to convert? How many rows? I want to convert four quarters Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 into four rows. Then you can select four. Suppose you have only three quarters Q1, Q2, Q3. Then occurs class is three. So here the occurs class represent how many columns you want to convert to how many rows. That represents occurs class. So for whatever the column you select, occurs class. For that one automatically GKID and GCID come. See here, this is the amount column, right? So automatically these two columns comes or ports, GK amount and GCID amount. What's the difference between these two? GK means generated key value. It gives continuous sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GCID means it repeats the sequence based on occurs class. Suppose if you give occurs class three, right? It will generate cyclic numbers, one, two, three, again, one, two, three. one, two, three, again, one, two. Three. Here, Occurs class you have given four, right? So GCID what it gives cyclic numbers one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is the main difference between GCID and the GKID. Based on your requirement, you can choose to connect to target which one you want, either GKID or GCID. When normalized access source qualifier. In general, whenever you drag source, automatically source qualifier comes here, whether it is a flat file or uh, it is a table. But when you use a COBOL source, or we call it as copybook, when you import a copybook, automatically in place of source qualifier, normalized transformation comes. What is the difference between applied rows and affected rows? This is very important. So, in general, you see the difference uh, between applied rows and affected rows whenever you performing update operation. Suppose you send one row, employee number 100 from source to target. So your source record is like this, 100, 2000. But in your target table, you have 100, 3000, 100, 4000. 
two records are there. When you send this record from source to target, then applied rows are one. Why? Because only one row reached the target, but actually affected rows. How many rows updated in the target? You have two rows, right, in the target table. So affected rows equal to two. Sometimes applied rows and affected rows are same. Sometimes you see the difference when there are multiple matches in your target table, it will update all, right? So same case for daily match. Applied rows and affected rows will change. Thank you.